Welcome back to my Cincinnati Bengals Connected franchise. I believe this is episode number four. If you guys are looking forward to this series or just Connected franchise content in general, consider hitting that subscribe button. It definitely helps me out. It'd be cool if you guys can, you know, join the channel. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you very much. Um, but today we have to take on the Buffalo Bills. We just got decimated, absolutely handled by the San Francisco 49ers. We fumbled the ball a ton of different times, so because of that, I will be adjusting these sliders according to how many times we fumbled, honestly. Um, I read in the comments, somebody said if you lower fumbles, it decreases your chance. Somebody said if you raise the fumble slider, it decreases your chance. I looked it up, and if it's the same as, you know, the past few Maddens, raising this actually decreases the number of times you fumble. So if you didn't know that, now you know, for both sides. So if I, like, increase the fumbles for the CPU skill... Uh, they will fumble less often. I'm actually going to decrease theirs a little bit then. I feel like I don't force too many fumbles. So 45 and then now 65. I think that should be pretty good. Also, we can view this uh, message for the X-Factor cornerback. We obviously failed. Okay, I just said at the beginning of the week, passing was not the way to go today. I think our chances of winning this game were a lot better if we ran the football and avoided needless risks. What happened? Anything? No, okay. Now we can advance the week. This is actually a very exciting week because we can scout... This is going to be amazing. All right, so we can scout. Wait, weekly awards. Who won something? Geno Atkins, nine tackles, three sacks. D Ford also won something. So did Tevin Coleman. The 49ers destroyed us. But I can scout. I will be using the auto-generated draft classes, auto-generated rookies. This is going to be very exciting. So here's a look at the class at face value. The top player is a middle linebacker, six foot three. I would love that. But let me check out these stories quickly. All right, so we got uh, the son of an Olympic track star, cornerback Desmond Bowman, or Bowman. I want to say Bowman for that. Is creating a legend of his own, not on the track, but on the football field at Oklahoma. Coming over from Italy, Ron Fletcher wasn't sure how he would compare to the American League players. Uh, he's answered that question without, or without his, wait. He's answered that question without his outstanding play at USC. He's answered that question without his outstanding play? Wouldn't he answer it with his outstanding play? I don't know. But, uh, wait, what was his name? It was Fletcher and something else. I actually forgot their names. I am so... I have the attention span of a acorn, I think. Ron Fletcher and Desmond Bowman. Okay. Let's check out those guys first. Usually, I already... Okay. But <laughs> usually those, uh, those stories are pretty impactful. So it was Desmond Bowman. Looks really good. And then that Fletcher guy, where is he? Was it Ron Fletcher? I think it was Ron Fletcher. Nice looking free safety for us. Okay, so I will have to look out for both of those guys. Ron Fletcher looks like he's going to be a beast. Hopefully he has a good uh, draft story about him. And this cornerback also, I mean, not a good, wait, what? He does have a good draft story about him. What I meant to say is hopefully he has a good combine grade. And this cornerback will also go on the draft board. So let's start looking at some middle linebackers. Joe Rodriguez looks like he could be something fierce. He looks pretty good. B plus awareness is quite good. Two A minuses. So two middle linebackers look pretty good. One guy who doesn't look that good. What else could we use on this team? I could use a strong safety. Antoine Kemp looks pretty decent. B zone is, is quite nice. I could also use some offensive lineman help, of course. I could use a tackle and then I can move him over to a right tackle. Gary Eckel looks like he's going to be a beast. But now we can delve into the comments of last episode. I just want to see what you guys are suggesting. I remember a few of them off the top of my head, but I think it would be way better if I actually go and look at them. I know somebody said to trade Carlos Dunlap. Um, you guys were talking about the injury sliders. Trade for Adoree Jackson. I don't think that's going to be possible. Adoree Jackson's pretty hard to get. I've tried it before in a couple of rebuilds. Um, someone said I should try I should try to sign Trey Madden and cut Seathan Carter. I didn't even know he was our fullback. I didn't know this dude's name. Let me check out his stats really quickly. So Carter got a couple handoffs so far. He's been pretty decent, to be honest. 83 speed, 88 acceleration. I think I actually might just keep this Carter, dude. I know Trey Madden's pretty good, but Seathan Carter doesn't seem that bad. Um, someone told me that Tyree Jackson's a bust. I don't know if I'm going to try to trade for him. It may be. Somebody said get Isaiah McKenzie. Isaiah McKenzie's actually not that bad of a, of a player to go after. What is Alex Erickson all about? 26 years old. He's actually not that bad. What about Cody Core? He's 25 years old. Again, not too bad. I kind of like the uh, the wide receiver depth on this team. Then we have Stanley Morgan, who somebody told me I should get more playing time. That was a while back, though. Let me move him up to, actually, beneath John Ross. Yes, okay. So now, let's keep going here. Ooh, someone told me to trade for Solomon Thomas. That could be very interesting. Someone also told me to trade Carlos Dunlap. 
I could potentially try to move Solomon Thomas to defensive tackle. Because I don't want him rushing off the edge on this team. What is his overall down to? Let's go to the 49ers, check out Solomon Thomas. Maybe try to, like, you know, revamp his career a little bit. What is he, a red end? Ooh, he's a 74. That cap hit's actually kind of big. I don't really want him, if I'm being honest here. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think I want Solomon Thomas on this team. So trading Carlos Dunlap could be something I'd do. Alright, so his cap hit is 7.61 a million. He's 30 years old. It's probably a good number of teams. Yeah, there's a lot of teams here that have interest in him. I don't want to pull the trigger on this just yet, because not that many people liked the comment suggesting I trade him. Let me know what I should do with Carlos Dunlap. If you Bengals fans out there really don't want me to trade him, I won't. You know, I'm I'm Pretty sure, you know, he's probably liked by the Bengals community. He's been good for them his entire career, really. Uh, so let me know if you guys think I should trade Carlos Dunlap. If not, I won't, obviously. But if you guys, if enough people say it, I will. Also, like the comments rather than commenting it a bunch of different times. If you just thumbs up the comment that tells me to trade him or not to trade him, it would be very easy for me to track which one I should do. Um, but I don't think I'm going to make any moves here. And the team is pretty much ready after we upgrade. I, I do apologize for these intros. I feel like they're... They're getting longer and longer each time. But Preston Brown, John Ross, Alex Redmond, Bobby Hart all have an upgrade point. Oh, someone told me to try to trade for, who was it, DeMar Dotson, Orlando Brown, or Jack Conklin. So Jack Conklin's sort of hard to get. I actually already tried to trade for Jack Conklin. It didn't really work. Orlando Brown, I don't really like that just because he's within the division. I'm trying to stay not interdivisionally with these trades. And then DeMar Dotson's just old. I mean, I don't know. He's a good tackle. Don't get me wrong, but he's old. He takes up a lot of money. I don't think I want any of those guys. Bobby Hart will just be the right tackle for this season. Um, but anyway, here we go. Let's upgrade. Preston Brown. I would love a speed upgrade on him. Um, his zone coverage could could use some improvement as well. He fits the scheme at a run stopper. I'm going to go into pass coverage, though. He's going to be a 77 overall. Still fits the scheme. Two to man coverage, one to strength, one to play rack, two to zone coverage. Not too bad. John Ross also can be upgraded. What does he need to improve upon? Probably route running. His route running isn't that bad, but I would honestly like that to get up a little bit more. So let's go into route running here. He's going to be a 75 overall wide receiver. He got up three different things. Awareness, medium route running, spectacular catch. Okay. Alex Redman, I think he's a backup guard at this point. Let's just make him better. He's going to be a 66 overall. I'm not really too worried about Alex Redmond right now. And then Bobby Hart, currently how we're starting right tackle. That is actually tragic. I like going into power in case they can get strength up. That would be pretty cool. Four to run blocking. That's quite good. But anyway, I think we can hop into this game here against the Buffalo Bills. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. They don't have the greatest of rosters. We're both one and one. Let's see which team can come out on top. Man, I really keep forgetting to do this. I need to remember... To make my preference to kick. I hate receiving first. And I think I've received first the first three games of the season so far. I forgot to change that preference. It doesn't matter all that much. Let's just make the most out of this drive here. Um, I don't really like an RPO right now. But I think I'm just going to take the run. Pretty much regardless of what the defense was doing. I was just going to run the football. I, just, I really like running it on the first play of the game. Just to kind of see what the defense has given me. Alright, Tredavious White I don't think is going up against AJ Green right now. So that is a really good sign. It could be him over there. I honestly can't tell. I think it might actually be him. That was a beautiful pass by Andy Dalton. Joe Mixon making that guy miss. Let's go. 22 yards on Dalton's first completion. Hopefully he can have a better game than last week. He had a stellar first game, but played horribly last week. A lot of that was because of me. Can't lie. Oh, there we go. Nice pass to Tyler Boyd right over the head of Edmonds. Edmonds is a tall linebacker as well. That was a nice throw. Ooh, Edmonds is actually going down. He's kind of down on one knee. I'm going to try my best not to say his first name because I confuse the Edmonds brothers more than anybody in the NFL, I think. Maybe the Pouncey brothers. The Pouncey brothers might be a little bit more, but I know I'm going to say I'm pretty sure it's Tremaine, but I, I feel like I always confuse them. I'm going to dump this one off here to Tyler Eifert. Good block downfield. Tyler Eifert isn't really elusive. I probably should have tried to lower my shoulder rather than juke. All right, here we are. Third down and four. I'm looking for AJ Green probably deep down the field, unless Joe Mixon can get open, like, right away. AJ Green's going to be wide open. That's a touchdown. AJ Green. Let's go. Having one of the best starts to a season he's ever had, honestly. He has probably about almost 400 yards already. He is absolutely destroying the NFL right now. Let's see if we can get Jermaine Pratt another interception. I would love to run away with Rookie of the Year with him. 
Watching this player. That is not open at all. Go down. Let's go. Is that Sam Hubbard? Yeah, Sam Hubbard. I think it's his first sack of the season. Second down and 26 now for the Josh Allen-led Bills. Oh, and just barely out of my reach there. Man, what a nice throw. Josh Allen high points it perfectly, man. If I was a step faster, that could have been a pick. They have not run the football yet, and I don't think they're going to run it here on third down. Just watch underneath here. That is going to be a catch by Cole Beasley. Are you serious, man? Kind of a mismatch there having Preston Brown cover him, but it looked like that was a play that Brown should have won. Cole Beasley isn't really a jump ball kind of guy, but made it work there. I think this is a run play. An audible to a blitz. It's actually an RPO. Man, that was a nice read by Josh Allen. No, I can't reach number 15. That was a really nice read there by Josh Allen. That's John Brown. He is really fast. So it makes sense why I couldn't catch him earlier. Oh, that player is wide open, but nice hit by Preston Brown. It wasn't enough to force the ball loose. That is the first time they've ran it all game, and it goes for a touchdown. Freaking TJ Yeldon, former Alabama player, former Jacksonville Jaguar, current Buffalo Bill touchdown scorer. What a throw by Andy Dalton. That was absolutely phenomenal on his end. I don't know how he got that ball out, but he did, and it went for a first. I have not really been able to run the football at all right now. Let's see what we can do here on this inside zone. There we go. That's a nice run. Not too bad. Almost a first down. He has 10 yards now on the day. Had a solid week last week. He's, you know, starting off the season very well, too. This looks like this handoff could work really well. Hopefully, the blocking up the middle is there. Joe Mixon's going to get it, and he runs directly. I think that's Star Latulale, maybe? It is. Man. Nice play there by the veteran. I sort of want to run the football again, but I don't really think it'll be there. I'm not going to. I'll dump this one off to Joe Mixon, though. He's open. He actually made one of those dudes miss, apparently, but <laughs> he, got, he got the first down. That was an interesting animation. Here we go at the one-yard line. Joe Mixon taking this toss. Come on, block and get there. I think we got this, man. No, we do not have it. Jordan Poyer blows it up. Great play by Poyer. Now we are at a third down and goal. I don't really know what to think here. Let's just see if maybe Trayvon Williams can score this. Oh, no. I'm going to run this with Andy Dalton. He's going to die. Andy, no. <laughs> he couldn't score it. My first few reads weren't there, and I was worried I was going to get sacked. That's unfortunate. We're going to take a field goal here, though. That is something I really need to get better at. My red zone offense is always horrible. It's been horrible for the past, I don't even know, however long I've been playing Madden. It's been absolutely abysmal. <laughs> To me, the red zone's like the hardest spot of the field to do anything. I think that's kind of a thing. It's just so difficult because, you know, the defense always plays it so well. Oh, that's going to be an interception by Jermaine Pratt. Let's go. We got the ball right back again. Completely baited Josh Allen. What a beautiful play there by Pratt. All right, so it's third and 18. The reason why I lost yardage is because I actually got an intentional grounding penalty. thought I was outside of the tackle box, but I was not. Throw this one to Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd's going to catch it, and that's a first down. He actually broke the tackle attempt of Micah Hyde as well. Beautiful play there by the former Pittsburgh wide receiver. Oh, Joe Mixon, what a nice juke move. My God. He hasn't had much room to go, really, at all. He's making the most out of his carries, though. i got to be honest here. All right, let's go with a pass. Let's see if we can get Tyler Eifert a touchdown here. That's all I'll be looking at. Tyler Eifert for the touchdown. There we go in the middle of the end zone, running a slant. Let's do a team celebration. What's going on here? Okay, they're doing something to the ball. I actually, I actually don't know what's going on there. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We scored a touchdown. All right, Jermaine Pratt got the better of Josh Allen one of these times so far. Let's see if we can do it again. Not on that play. I'm telling you, man, I can never connect with hit sticks. Whenever I try to hit stick, they always just spin or juke right out of it. Oh, my God. Wait. Geno Atkins just sacked Josh Allen on a screen? On a wide receiver screen, those were supposed to come out quick. Wait, wait. Geno Atkins, what is wrong with you? Oh my god. Dude, I didn't even notice that. He just completely hurdled 63. That's unfair. That is absolutely unfair. Josh Allen didn't even have time to bring the ball completely up. He's lucky that wasn't a fumble. That was a ridiculous play by Geno Atkins. You know, that was only a loss of a yard, but that was the most insane loss of a yard I have ever seen. Second down and 11 now for the Bills. 
Finally running the football again. They just, like, never run the ball for some reason. Maybe that's why. <laughs> LaShawn McCoy, one rush, negative one yards for him. Third down and 12. Definitely expecting a pass. I'm going to set up a quarterback contain because Josh Allen is quite fast. There's obviously a play action. We're going to run over here, and we're actually going to force a fumble. It was Geno Atkins who did it. LaShawn McCoy picks it up, and I think Geno Atkins should be in the zone if that counts as a sack, right? Geno Atkins honestly might break the record for sacks in his season this year. With the pace he's on right now, it shouldn't be that hard. That was a really nice punt there from the Bills. I had to return it because if I didn't, it would have went down even, even closer to my end zone. Here we go. That's the 11-yard line. See what we can do. Nice blocking downfield. Joe Mixon gets to the edge. Jukes out Micah Hyde. All right. Not a bad handoff there. Joe Mixon finally coming alive here. I think AJ Green may be able to get open. It depends where Micah Hyde goes. All right, AJ Green is going to be open here. He's going to catch this one. Oh my god, <laughs> what a juke move by AJ Green. Jesus, man, he is nasty. He is so good. He's easily like the best wide receiver I have used in such a long time in Madden. My good god, I'm sorry for pausing it, but take a look at this. Who's covering him? Why did it start here? There we go. Who's covering him? Is this Levi Wallace, maybe? It's actually Tredavious White. Oh my lord, Tredavious White. He's given AJ Green way too much of a cushion. I understand you respect him over the top, obviously. I think that's what I would do if I was trying to cover AJ Green. But it leads, leaves you very vulnerable to routes like this. Comeback routes, especially when AJ Green can just cut that quick. It's just... Give him, what, like two yards or so to stop and he's already turned around? He catches it. And then just the, the, the slyest juke move of all time. Oh my lord. Add another Chris Berman whoop in here. There it is. Maybe I'll slow it down to, like, you know, match the pace of the juke. That was a very slow juke. I don't know how Tredavious White actually got fooled, but somehow he did. And I'm pretty sure fantasy owners in this league, in this, you know, in this universe, probably hate Andy Dalton right now. Andy Dalton went off the first week. I'm sure nobody started him. Uh, I'm sure a ton of people picked him up off waivers for the second week. Probably plugged him right in. Team's needing a quarterback. He absolutely crapped the bed. They probably benched him again this week, and now he's going off. <laughs> That happens all the time to me in fantasy, man. I can never get lucky. See, I'm really confused. The only thing I changed so far was pass blocking and fumbling. I didn't move anything else from last game, and we are playing significantly better. LaShawn well, McCoy actually seems really slow, <laughs> uh, but he didn't pick up much there. He gained four. Here right, we go. Third down in inches. Don't run it up the middle. It's not going to work. Geno Atkins is right there. They're running it up the middle. No, they're not. Geno Atkins gets back for the sack, dude. These superstar abilities are actually kind of broken. I'm not going to lie. Geno Adkins with his third sack of the game. Two consecutive weeks where the monster gets three sacks. I like to run the football, though. Just try to eat up a lot of this clock. But still, I would like to, you know, try to secure some more points. Joe makes it all the way to the outside here. Let's go. Micah Hyde kind of collides with him. I think somebody else brings him town as well. Number 22. Hey, wait, is that... Hold on. Is that Drake Kirkpatrick? Is that what that last name just said? I don't remember who I traded Drake Kirkpatrick to. This could be funny if it is Drake Kirkpatrick. That's what the last name looked like. It is Drake Kirkpatrick. Oh, no. Not a good game <laughs> to come back to the Bengals for. Oh, hey, would you guess what I forgot to do? Check out the other team's roster. I'm really sorry. I need to remember to do this, man. But let's quickly fly through this. Josh Allen, of course, the quarterback. LaShawn McCoy. Giovanni Bernard's on this team, too. Sort of forgot about him. Forgot I packaged them both together. Patrick DeMarco, the starting fullback. Cole Beasley. John Brown. Zay Jones, the wide receivers. Wait, is that Kenny Britt? What? I didn't even know he was still in the league. Okay. Tyler Croft, starting at tight end. Deion Dawkins. Quentin Spain. Mitch Morris. Clinton Bowling. And Ty Seke make up the offensive line. Trent Murphy. Jerry Hughes. And Ed Oliver. Oh, and Star, Star Latulale make up the defensive line. Matt Milano, the left outside linebacker, one of the more under play underrated players in the entire NFL, in my opinion. Uh, Tremaine Edmonds is actually out. I forgot he got hurt earlier. I guess he's not coming back, so Voshon Joseph will have to fill his role. Lorenzo Alexander, right outside linebacker. Tredavious White, Drake Kirkpatrick, Levi Wallace, the corners. Micah Hyde at free safety. Jordan Poyer at strong safety. Steven Hauschka, the kicker. Ryan Allen, the punter. My bad for forgetting that. Um, I will definitely try to remember better next time. Oh, what a throw again by Andy Dalton. John Ross making two players miss, but there's another one. If that other guy wasn't there, that was a touchdown. Joe Mixon all the way to the outside, makes one tackler miss, tries to juke back, but gets taken down at the five. All right, so there isn't too much time left. 
in this quarter. It would be nice if we can score another touchdown. Let's see what we can do here. Let's run the ball with Anderson. What can he do? Can he pound this one in? There he is, Rodney Anderson. I think that's his first rushing touchdown of his career. Not bad at all. We're going to take a massive lead over the Bills here. 31-7. to Bouncing back nicely from last week. All right, third down and five. The Bills really need this first down if they want any, you know, semblance of a comeback. Oh, I tried to go for the interception. I should have just went for the tackle. Man, good throw there by Josh Allen. I can't get back there in time. That was actually to Tyler Croft. Really? And he broke out of all those tackles. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I was right there to tackle him. It didn't let me because he was caught in an animation. Oh, that's frustrating. That was a great play, though, by Croft. Now that player is open over the middle, man. All right, well, they score a touchdown here. <laughs> okay. Nice dance moves there by, I think that's John Brown. It is. Okay. They're going for two, and I accidentally got caught on this play. Okay, well, hopefully we can get back to Josh Allen in time. If this is a run play. It's going to get stuffed, but this is a quick pass. It may work. That is not going to work. Nice play there by Malik Jefferson. Oh, Drew Sample all the way on the outside. Nobody covered him. Nice job there by the rookie tight end. I believe out of Washington? I think that's where he went to school. There you go, Joe Mixon taking this draw. Not draw, this dive. My fault. Very nicely. Up to the 44-yard line. I feel like we can't do anything wrong right now. Hope I just didn't jinx myself, but this game is going very, very well. A is going to be open. Oh my god, John Ross. His juke move is nasty. Jesus, just made a superstar player get absolutely fooled. John Ross to the outside here. Get the corner. You are going to. No, you didn't score. You brought down. You brought it down to the one. Ah, uh, could have Andy Dalton's fourth touchdown of the day, but instead, let's see if we can run the football up the middle. It's Rodney Anderson again. Checking in on the goal line situation. What can you do here? Rodney Anderson, his second touchdown, I think, on his second carry today. Maybe he's had another random one, but he's having a pretty good day for him. Let's send a blitz up the middle and see what happens. Second down in inches. That's not going to be a run, but Malik Jefferson is getting there for the sack. Way to go, man. He's still a young player. He could for sure develop. He's, you know, talking to Josh Allen about it. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should lower my pass blocking a little bit because they haven't really been getting much pressure lately. And I feel like it would be only fair. I'll probably do that after this game. Oh, no. I almost made the play. Oh, my God. I was just a little bit behind. John Brown makes a nice grab. Oh, that's a beautiful play there by Malik Jefferson, man. He's having a great game. Not going to worry about that. And that's actually just going to be a throw away. Let's see what they do. Are they going to take the field goal? They're going to try to go for it and score a touchdown. Um, they're going for the field goal. All right. Tyler Eifert, man, what a grab. I saw that blitz the entire way on the left side. I just watched him and waited for Tyler Eifert to get open. All right, here we are. We're at a third down and six. If we don't convert this, I'm honestly not that worried, but let's see what we can do. Is that Tyler Eifert? I think it is Tyler Eifert. He is not going to reel that one in. I don't think it really would have counted anyway. Well, it wouldn't have been a first down, I mean. Fourth and six. Obviously, we're going to punt the football. I'm telling you, Bangle, I'm coming for your, your best punter on YouTube throne. Here we go. Ready for this? Boom. Where's that guy on out at? All right, maybe you deserve it. Actually, that's a pretty good punt. Not bad. I'll take it. Down to the six-yard line. All right, it'll be really difficult to get a safety now, but obviously, hopefully, someone can get through. It's actually going to be a run play. LaShawn McCoy going down only after a gain of one. Is that another run play? Are they just trying to run off the clock or something? That is a massive hit, though, by Preston Brown. Not bad. First down and 10, though, for the Bills. Oh, that's a nice juke move. And John Brown is absolutely gone. I don't think anybody can catch him here. No, we can't. Okay. Making the game a little bit closer. John Brown's having a fantastic game for them. Oh, this is going to be a pass, and this is going to be converted. That's unfortunate, but we're going to try our best, I guess. Hardy Nickerson. Do it. It's actually a run play. No, why did they run it? <laughs> you guys are stupid. All right, let's go, AJ. Let's see if you can catch the slant. Looking at you. AJ Green catches that slant. There you go. Break out of one tackler, but can't break out of another one. Right, third down and four. Let's see if we can get a first down here. Looking at Tyler Boyd, I believe, over the middle. 
He's like, not that open, but B is going to be open. There you go, John Ross. He's having a really nice day so far, too. I think he's almost at 100. Tyler Boyd is wide open over the middle. That wasn't the best pass in the world, but at least Delton got it there. Third down and 10. I'm going to throw Drew Sample on a streak. Let's see if he can get open. Drew Sample! He's going to make that grab for, what, Andy Dalton's fourth touchdown of the game? My God, Andy. What are you doing to him? That player's open. <laughs> Number 85 catches that one. Man, their tight ends are just going off today. Oh, that player's wide open. That's Lee Smith for a touchdown. Nice play call by the Bills. Let's see if they can go 0 for 3 on two-point conversions. That'd be pretty nice. If this is a pass, it's probably going to work. But they're running the football again with this same look. I don't know what they're doing, man. Two minutes and seven seconds left. They'll probably go with an onside kick here. If they don't get this onside kick, the game is pretty much over. And they're not going to get it. So, you know, the game's pretty much over. All right, this game is going to be over 45 to 28. Putting on a clinic here against the Bills. Looks like our first game all over again. That second game is just completely out the window. I'm not going to try to think about it anymore. That was horrible. I don't know why we played so much better in this one. But we definitely did. Honestly, I don't know who I should put on the thumbnail. I feel like so many players could get it. It might be Andy Dalton. I feel like Andy Dalton had the best game out of everybody here. But, actually, that's not even entirely true. And I'll show you why in a second. So, Andy Dalton was actually almost perfect. I think 158.3 is perfect. But 27 for 31, 386 yards, 4 touchdowns. Uh, Josh Allen was actually really good today, too. He was quite excellent. He had that one interception, but other than that, he was lights out. Wrong team. Bengals. Joe Mixon, 27 for 111. Not bad. Rodney Anderson mooched two of his touchdowns, though. Six for eight for two touchdowns for Anderson. That's funny. Joe Mixon, five for 34. Five for 42 and a touchdown for Tyler Eifert. Five for 101 um, for John Ross. Five for 112 for AJ Green with two touchdowns. Tyler Boyd got involved. Drew Sample even got a touchdown. Spread the ball around quite a bit today. Nobody on our team let up a sack. That's exactly what I want to see every week. Malik Jefferson actually had a great game. 10 total tackles, one for loss, one sack. A few players, a few other players had uh, tackles for loss. Geno Atkins had four sacks. He may go on the thumbnail, I'm not exactly sure, but he is dominant. Jermaine Pratt, of course, got an interception as well. That was a fantastic game, both on offense and defense. We let up a lot of yards, but I also kind of stopped caring as much on defense after we went up by so much. Uh, so let me advance the week here. We have to take on the Steelers next week. Can also use some more scouting points. And we have a breakout player message for, you know, Malik Jefferson. I wish it was this past week, but we'll try to get that done next week. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you ended up enjoying this episode, feel free to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. I love seeing these videos get a lot of likes. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much for the support on all of my Madden 20 videos so far. Also, leave some comments. Let me know what you think I should do in this series. I will try to, you know, do a couple of them if I like the ideas. And one more time, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys soon.